Welcome back. I'm excited to bake with you today. We have had such a crazy weekend. We've been able to plant in our vegetable garden and then realized that the chickens could get through our fence that we had up and decided since we were in there, they wanted to be in there and they dug up all of our hard work <laughs> because they have no respect for anything. So we had to get chicken wire and wrap it all the way around what we already fenced off, but what we do for for good fresh vegetables and to keep chickens. So <laughs> usually we film on Saturday and upload Saturday night or Sunday and it's it, we have just been so busy. I thought I wasn't gonna be able to do a video and I just couldn't not do a video because I love baking with y'all and I love reading your comments and hearing about, you've given so many great tips and tricks and um, we've been able to do a lot of fun stuff together. So I have a quick video today, but not less delicious. <laughs> My oldest daughter, Audrey, her favorite cookie is a white chocolate chip macadamia nut. And we have found a recipe that converts beautifully to the fresh milled flour. So even though it's a sweet treat and not an everyday food, you're still getting really good sugar with the suka nut and the honey granules that we use, but it works well with regular brown sugar and, and white sugar uh, either way. They're so delicious, and I'm making this one with soft white wheat, but you can use einkorn or kamut or any, anything you feel like. If you do half soft white wheat, half whatever, it's, it's really good. It's, it's, I've done it with kamut, very good. I'm wanting to experiment more with other kinds of grains, so I'm really excited to start experimenting with different kinds of things. But today, just today, we're having delicious cookies, I have made several <laughs> recently to get it perfect for y'all to make sure I know what I'm talking about and uh, you know there aren't any problems that come up because sometimes you can bake the same recipe two or three times and it's fine and then all of a sudden out of left field something goes wrong and you're not quite sure what it is so I made these successfully quite a few times everybody approves everybody wants to taste test so <laughs> I hope that you enjoy making a white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies with me today. These delicious white chocolate chip macadamia nut cookies are super easy to make. Um, if you're using regular brown sugar and white sugar, then you don't need to worry about mixing as much. But when you use the sucanat and the honey granules, they're a bit of a thicker and just a different kind of sugar sweetener kind of um they just need a little bit of extra love in getting them to break down a little bit so we are going to add them the butter and the sugars and we are just going to let them work in together until you'll see a difference you'll see it get light and fluffy and you won't be able to see the speckles of the sucanat as much as um as when you first started and then you'll know they're mixed in really well if you don't do this, if you don't spend as much time, they're still going to be a great cookie. Uh, it's just the sugar doesn't break down as much. So uh, I think taking the time to just keep mixing it together, beating it together until it's nice and light and fluffy and you can see that the, the suka nut and the honey granules have broken down makes it really, really good. Especially um, when you add our, we're using soft white wheat and it's a bit heavier so when the butter's lighter and fluffier together it's really going to help pick up the cookie so we are going to add two sticks of butter and a hi to whoever asked me how much a stick of butter weighs um where she is from they don't have sticks of butter so it's four ounces is one stick or 113 grams is one stick or eight tablespoons so whichever measurement you prefer we're doing two of those uh so we don't need it melted, just room temperature, so it mixes really well. We are going to add one cup of sucanut. I used to have a brown sugar bear, now I have a brown sugar butterfly. <laughs> And 
and we're going to add two thirds a cup of honey granules. Now, you could do one cup of regular brown sugar, don't pack it down, just kind of scoop it in there, and two thirds cup of white sugar, but I'm using honey granules. And I am just going to let these cream together until they are well mixed, light and fluffy. And we'll show you what that looks like. And then 
a cup and a half of macadamia nuts. And when I went to buy these, they had salted roasted, unsalted roasted, raw. They had several different kinds, some candied ones. Um, I find the better ones for cookies are raw. They have a more uh, buttery texture. And I don't get salted because I like to use real salt. I like to know how much is on there and what kind of salt it is. So we're getting the best we can, even though these are cookies, you know, it's a treat. Um, so I just got raw macadamia nuts, nothing on them. And I chopped some finely, some medium, and some I've left whole just for a, a range of textures there. And then we have a cup and a half of um, however you feel about white chocolate chips, you want organic, whatever, just a cup and a half of a white chocolate chip. And we're going to let it mix for a minute to get all incorporated, but we don't need to let it over mix uh, and get air in there and kind of break down what we've built up. So you've made cookies before, you know what cookie dough should look like. And if you find yours is a little bit loose, add a little bit more flour to it. Because we're using our freshly milled flour and every cup we scoop, there's less flour in it than store-bought white flour because that's pretty compacted. There's not air in it. And most cookie recipes don't need you to sift the flour. They just say two and a half cups of flour. So. I converted my recipe and found that about three cups, and when I do my cup scooping, I tend to tamp it down like this so it settles a little bit and even it off so I know it's, you know, it's still going to be a lot fluffier, but um, three seems to be about what works. But you know cookie dough, so if you need to add a little more, add a little more. I like to use a two tablespoon cookie scooper. It just seems to be easier for me. And I do not crowd them. I have a very large pan uh, and I'm gonna do five rows of three and not crowd them at all. Uh, so nothing magic here, just scooping cookies. <laughs> I kind of like to use a spatula to kind of pack it in and get it flat so then all of them are pretty uniform. They're going to be a, a bigger cookie, uh, which is, you know, why it's a nice treat to have. It's not an everyday food, but <laughs> if you get them mostly uniform, then they bake pretty evenly and you won't have so many brown ones here and uh, less done ones here. And I figured on my oven at least, if I cook in convection mode, they don't get so if I do a regular cook some of them burn on the bottom just a couple of them but if I do convection they don't so I cookie in convection if you have the option of convection for cookies it seems to do well at least in my oven so give it a try um, all of these have good color bottoms it seems like when I make cookies on regular bake some of them end up burning on the bottom even with good cookie sheets so might just be a bum oven I don't know um, secondly I have three racks in my oven but I'm only going to cook two at one time and then cook this after. When I pack my oven, it doesn't seem to cook very well, so I just put in the two trays. So that's my oven. Maybe somebody has an oven like mine. <laughs> um, these are the two tablespoon scoops. They are going to bake for roughly 
10 to 13 minutes pending your oven. Uh, you know how it bakes a little hot or a little cool. If you end up doing smaller, because these cookie scoops come in a lot of different sizes, and for these I like to do big cookies. If you're doing smaller cookies, maybe bake them 8 to 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. You want a good golden color like, like these look, and pull them out whenever they get to, to roughly that. But So two tablespoons around 10 to 13 minutes. Um, these also freeze beautifully. You can get them like this, put them in your freezer, let them get solid, and then put them in a, in a bag or a Tupperware container or something and you can cook them one or two at a time or if you know you have friends or uh, visitors coming over you can heat up just enough for the day and they come out really really good. You can cook them straight from frozen or you can get them out and let them get to room temperature. Either way cook them at the same temperature same time and oh, very very good. So we will see you in 10 to 13 minutes. All right, my cookies have baked for 11 minutes-ish, and they're a little bit flatter than normal. I think I could have added even a, like three and a fourth cups of flour. This, this one just seems to have been, like there wasn't enough flour to give it more structure. I don't know, but they smell amazing. They're gonna taste amazing. It's really nice to have a good cookie recipe on hand that you know you can fix really quickly and when you have a crazy busy day there's still a good reward to you know maybe motivate young workers in the garden to give that extra little bit of effort to help or just give you a good sugar boost in the middle of the day so these really hit the nail on the head for us we really enjoy these and <laughs> they're always a hit they're always delicious and even with I think I could have done a little bit more flour. I should have, I should have recognized that in the dough. But even even if it's not perfect, it it's still delicious. So I have a question for y'all. I was talking with friends of mine, and we started just giggling and giggling because what do you call these? Like in your house or when you were raised, what do you call these? Because in my house. They're both spatulas, even though they do very different things. I know that this is a question crazy and out of nowhere. I am very curious. I said that I would ask because one of my friends said, no, this is a turner and this is a spatula. And somebody said, no, this is a spatula and this is a rubber scraper. And they had some other names for it. I, I had never heard before ever and I thought, I don't know, we just have a spatula for me, but they're very different. So I'm curious, could you please say, <laughs> what do you call these in your house or when you were growing up? I, I just, you know, have you ever had a moment where you think, my whole life is a lie? Like, <laughs> I just thought these were spatulas, but why would they have the same name when they're so very different? So I'm curious. I want to know what these are. <laughs> Thank you for playing with me on that. <laughs> but I have some taste testers wanting to come in and try some cookies here. I did have one cookie that was smaller going in. It was like the dregs of the bottom. So that did overcook because it was the smallest one. But um, would you guys like to try? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Happy? Good? <laughs> Do you see, it is spring break, so we're trying to get a lot of stuff done around the house. It is 9 o'clock at night, and they were outside running around playing a game, uh, hide and seek in the dark. And uh, <laughs> I said, oh, you got to come in, you got to take showers and go to bed. And they're like, why do we have to go to bed? It's spring break. So, still need to sleep. And of course, I'm giving them cookies right before bed. Who said you could have two? <laughs> I'll put mine back. Yeah. And they're really good. So hi people. Hi people. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so spring break, fun times, endless nights, but we still need sleep and sugar right before bed. So this will be fun. <laughs> thank you for baking with me this week, and thank you for uh, joining in and watching. I am so grateful for y'all and I'm praying for y'all and appreciate you so much. I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Bye!